everybody, so this is the look I decided to create for you. I was so excited when I received my Jaclyn Hill for Morphe Brushes palette yesterday. Um, I just wanted to create a look for you. I absolutely love these colors. These are definitely all colors that I use. This green one, maybe not so much, but I am trying to get out of the box a little bit, so... All of these other colors are definitely more my comfort brown, warm tone colors. So I absolutely love it, but I hope you guys like this look, and if you do, please stay tuned. Since I'm not using an eye primer for this look, I'm going to start with my face, and I'm going to use my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation, and I'm going to use this Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush to blend the foundation into my face. With the excess product on my brush, I am just going to gently rub a little bit of this foundation on my eyelid, just to make it all one color. And I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to use this beautiful brownish coral color as the first color that's going in my crease. And I'm just going to use a Sigma Tapered E35 blending brush. This is a beautiful brown coral color. And you don't have to be too precise with this. This is just going to be an intermediary blending color. And I'm gonna take this beautiful shimmery pink color and I'm going to take a MAC 230 brush and blend this all over my lid. This is a beautiful frosty pink color. Perfect for spring. Next I'm going to take this beautiful warm matte brown color and I'm going to use a MAC 224 brush and just gently blend this into my outer crease. Alright, and before I finish with the rest of my eyes, I am going to start on my eyebrows. And I'm just going to take this beautiful dark brown color that is in the palette, and I'm going to take a MAC 266 small angled brush, and I'm just going to fill in my brows quickly. Alright, and I usually like to finish my eyebrows before I finish my eyes just because I like to add a little bit of concealer to sculpt out the bottom part of my eyebrow. So I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match Concealer, try and just to get the edge of this underneath my brow. And I want to get this as close to my brow as possible. And I'm just going to do this right on the top as well. And I'm just going to take a MAC 287 brush and blend this in. And I love doing this in between finishing my eyes and my eyebrows because if I mess up or I bring this eyeshadow up too high, I can use that concealer and just blend it away a little bit to make it a little softer or a little bit more round and sculpted. And I'm just going to take that same True Match Concealer and conceal a little bit underneath my eyes. And this pimple that I have here, the foundation did a pretty good job of covering it up already, but I'm just going to conceal a little bit more. And then I'm just going to take my ring finger and blend that in. And I'm just going to take this new Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner and I'm just going to make a very small cat eye.
And as you can see, I messed up just a little bit on that cat eye there, so I'm just going to take my True Match Concealer again and just clean that up a little bit. And I'm going to use my MAC 195 brush for this, and I'm just going to gently dip the edge into the concealer. And then just going to clean up right underneath my eye. And then blend it in with my finger. And to finish my eyes, I am going to take my CoverGirl Ready Set a Gorgeous Powder Foundation. This is in the color 215 Medium, and I'm going to take a MAC 224 brush, and I'm just going to gently dab that in. I just wanted a neutral, beautiful color underneath my brow bone that was matte. And then I'm going to go back in and add a little bit of shimmer. But I usually like to go in with a, a neutral skin tone just to buff out any harsh lines. And next I'm going to take this beautiful champagne shimmery color and I'm going to use that same MAC 224 brush. Gently dab that into the color, tap off the excess and get that right underneath my brow bone. And next I'm going to powder my face using that CoverGirl Ready Set a Gorgeous Powder Foundation again and I'm just going to use a Real Techniques powder brush. And I'm just going to dab this all over my face. And if you have a very hard to cover a blemish, um, this one is kind of already covered but one trick that I do like to use is I will take the powder that I use to set my foundation, I'll take a clean finger rub it in the powder foundation and then just dab it on almost pressing it into the skin and I'll press around just to blend in any harsh lines and it just does such a great job of covering that blemish that I have and then just to add a little bit of bronze to my face I am going to take my Maybelline fit me bronzer in golden tan and I'm going to take the e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm just going to gently put that right on my cheeks. This is very soft but I really like this step because it kind of adds a beautiful neutral brownish golden base to my cheeks which is a perfect base for the pink goldish blush that we are going to put on top. And then I'm going to take my Milani brush in number 201 and use that same e.l.f. complexion brush to dab this blush right on top of that Maybelline Fit Me bronzer that we just put on. This will definitely give your cheeks a beautiful, beautiful spring bronzed glow. And for my lips, I'm going to use my Maybelline Nude Lipstick in number 655, Darling Nude. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Color Elixir Color Sensational Gloss in number 500. And this is Ethereal Nude. And I'm going to put this right on top of that nude lipstick. And to bronze my face a little bit more, I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Solier Matte Bronzer. This is the only matte bronzer I have. And I'm going to use a MAC 168 brush for this. I'm just going to add some dimension to my forehead. <clears throat> and I'm going to add some dimension to my cheekbone. And I'm probably going to add a little bit more contour to my cheeks, just underneath where we added that blush. And one last step, I'm going to take my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner in Nude. 
and I'm just going to I <laughs> and I'm just going to line uh, my inside waterline. I feel this product does such a beautiful job of just opening up the eyes. Oh my god, we forgot mascara! And I'm quickly just gonna add some mascara to my eyelashes to complete this look. All right, everybody, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. You can, of course, substitute this nude lip for a beautiful, bold lip since spring is coming, but I wanted to do something nice and soft um, for this look, so I chose a beautiful nude lipstick. If you guys like this look, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to check out my blog for a more in-depth review, I guess, of the Jaclyn Hill palette. I absolutely love it so far. The eyeshadows are absolutely beautiful and definitely ones that I use the most in terms of all the colors that are in this palette. Um, I won't do a full review on it because I know many people have done it, but if you guys want it, just leave me some comments down below and I'm happy to do it for you. Thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!